I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I didn't even want to do this. I like I I haven't been into Yu-Gi-Oh as much, so I didn't even want to do this. I've been working on another channel with my friends doing cards of Vanguard. Sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon when we get a chance, but I'm gonna just skip all that. What's good, YouTube? You already know it is your boy Triple N. I'm back for another car reaction, I guess. Dark Magician got some support, so might as well talk about it. Uh, let's talk about this one. Magic Karibo Level 1 Dark Fiend Monster. You only use its first and second effect once per turn during the main phase or battle phase. If you took damage from battle or card effect, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Especially someone one Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl from your deck to the grave. It's cool. Um, you can... You can get magicians faster out of the deck, which is really nice. And in the graveyard, I like it because it's Karibo and it has a little, you know, a little dark magician aesthetic going on. I like that. Uh, second effect of his face up spellcaster monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can add this card from the graveyard to your hand. So, yeah, it's it's good. It's good all around. It's another, like, it's kind of like a hand trappish thing, you know. So, this might could save you in a game. You never know. Uh, next card, they made Tamias. I had some eyes into a monster. I like that. I'm hoping that they give the other two a dragon, like a monster form. I'm hoping for that. Uh, Tamai is the Dragon of Destiny is a level 8 like dragon monster. You can only use this first, second effect once turn. You can send one spellcaster monster on one spell to specifically list the Dark Magician in its text from your hand or face it to the fifth degree. Special summon this card. So it has a special summon effect, which is nice. You know, I have to tribute to summon. You can special summon it. That's amazing. Um, second effect, during your main phase, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material, including at least one spellcaster monster. I guess you can use itself as well. Fuse it with the Dark Magician, make whatever the fusions that they have, or use use it just to fusion summon any spellcaster. You can fuse, if you have Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl in hand or on the field, while this is on the field, you can make the Magician, I think that's what that fusion is called, so... It's, it's another fusion of card. They literally just made a high to my eyes a monster, which is nice, I guess. Decent attack, 2,800 attack, 1,800 defense is decent. I like it. Next, we have Illusion of Chaos, a level 7 dark spellcaster. Ritual monster. You can ritual summon this card with chaos form. You can only use its first and second effect once per turn. You can reveal this card from your hand, add one dark magician or one non-ritual monster. That specifically list that card's name and its text from your deck to your hand, and then place one card from your, your hand on the top of your deck. Second effect, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can return this card to the hand, and if you do, spell someone dark magician for your grave, you do negate that effect. Uh... A friend of mine was telling me that he probably would only use the first effect to search for magician souls. I don't know if that. I, I would assume he would be right because he's he's known for liking dark magician. So I don't know if many people are gonna actually ritual summon this monster, but I do see people like using its first effect for the search. But you never know. You never know. Either way, it's cool. 2100 attack, 2500 defense. I don't know why they like swapping the attack and defense of Dark Magician. I never understood that. Um, could you ritual summon this card with anything else? Isn't there like a ritual spell that lets you like use a normal monster in your deck to summon it? You can, use, you can make Dark Magician. You can use that with Dark Magician or summon this too, I think. Um, next, we have Dark Master of Chaos, a level 8 Dark Spellcaster fusion. If you didn't see Dark Magician getting fused with Black Luster Soldier coming, come on now. Everyone knew that Dark Magician was going to fuse with Red Eyes one day. We all knew about Buster, well, Buster Blader was there in the beginning. We all knew about, come on, we knew, we knew Black Luster Soldier was going to get fused with Dark Magician sooner or later. Everyone's waiting for Blue Eyes, Dark Magician Blue Eyes fusion. That's what everybody's waiting for. But this takes one Dark Magician plus one Chaos or Black Lesser Soldier Ritual Monster. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card once per turn. If this card is fused summon, you can target one light or dark monster in your graveyard. Yeah, summon it. Lit. You can tribute one light and one dark monster. Banish all monsters your opponent controls. That's disgusting. It isn't even targeted. It just banishes all your opponent's monsters. I like that. If, you, if this fusion summon card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. That's nice. It's decent. It ain't nothing too crazy. I I am kind of upset that it has 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. That kind of bothers me because it's like you're fusing Dark Magician who has 2,500 and Black Soldier or Chaos or whatever. They usually have like 3,000. So 
I wish I had more power, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I like it. I think the artwork is amazing. But if you didn't see it coming, some might be wrong with you. Next, another car we have is Dimension Conjure. I told my friends this. If you look at his head, doesn't it look like um, uh, Tristan's? Doesn't this head, his head look like Tristan's? Oh, well. It's a level 1 dark spellcaster. You can only use his first, second effect, one strength. If this card is no more special summon, you can add one magical dimension from your deck or gray out to your hand, which is really cool. I think magical dimension lets you tribute a monster, destroy an opponent's monster, and then special summon a spellcaster? If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I forgot what it does. I know the card. I just I forgot. Second effect. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can draw cards equal to the number of spellcaster monsters you control and then place the same number of cards from your hand at the top of your deck so it lets you draw it lets you have some hand manipulation um which is really nice you can manipulate your hand <laughs> yeah <laughs> that really it that's cool like it's cool you can link it tribute it fuse it whatever and then now if you have a bunch of spellcasters on your field you can grab those cards put cards you don't necessarily need at the top of your deck lit activate a dark magic circle afterwards you could do some shenanigans i don't know there's a lot of plays there it's a good it's a decent card i don't know how many people are going to use it but it's all around cool it's level one so it's a one for one target if you want magical dimension i, I don't know but i think that's the end of the dark magician cards i, I think they're cool like i said if you didn't see this coming out I, I don't know i don't know what's wrong with you i think this is really cool i really like this card um my favorite is the dark the magician karibo i like it it's just adorable that that's adorable but that's gonna be the end of the video let me know if you what you think about these new dark magician cards you think it's gonna make dark magicians better do you think these cards just don't matter let me know like comment subscribe and peace